What's up, YouTube? I'm the white guy, or that white guy, stereotypical white guy, typical white guy, atypical white guy. Lots of names. One account. Not really, it's multiple accounts, me. Anyways, reflex. Today there should be less vibrationiness in the background, because, well, the last video I put up, I wasn't doing my post processing magic to remove it. But this time, I've got my PC sitting on a custom little frame I custom built. So, like, my PC used to be literally like three, four inches away from my desk, away from my face on the top of my desk and there'd be the vibrations from the fans in it but now it's sitting on the ground of my desk on like a custom frame I made all the anyways uh we're gonna be rocking same gear we've got orange skin with like a little what default or missing texture logo on it yep yep and my skin's texture is missing so I'm fucking orange as one of those bitches from Florida oh yeah uh, I got some Rockstar neck braces, got the One Industries helmet, got some like blue blurred goggles now because I didn't realize those were a thing. I'm going to be rocking the Monster Energy Kawasaki racing bike or factory racing bike today. But we also have in some new ones, I don't know if I showed you. We got the Lucas Oil Honda, I believe I've showed that off. And we've got a Yoshimaru Suzuki bike that has an FMF pipe on it. Yeah, I should probably fix that later, but for now we're going to roll with the Kawasaki. And we're gonna go do some stuff with our like Florida spray tan skin. Yes, this is called SN Nationals. And before I start with the main track, I want to kind of show this thing. I don't know if this is a tool used to make the track by scaling this up, or if it's just just here because it's a really big track and it's kind of easy to get lost. But this is like a miniature version of the entire track. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Like here's the starting gate. Over here, you'd start here. And there's a big tabletop and there's a lot of stuff. Anyway, this is going to be a longer video because this is a big track. It's very, well, it's very much the way I would make a track in the sense that, uh, yeah, you can probably see off the me just thumbnail this. Actually, let me go over here. I want to grab a thumbnail over here really quickly. But, yeah, you see that big thing that's like floating up in the air? Yeah, that's kind of part of the track. And the, I, I don't, this track is kind of difficult to find good rhythms through all of it. By difficult, I probably mean damn near impossible. So we got the first person camera mod from Jamie T that's going to be staying, but this track is just so big and there's, it's just so fucking awesome. Uh, it's just screenshot, uh, what's this button, F10? Oh, there you go, alright, there's my thumbnail. Alright, now, oop, I didn't put a flag down to start. Now we're going to start doing the track. I think we're going this way, perhaps, maybe, but we're going to start the starting gate because this track is not raceable, it's, came, it's been made what... Like, this is one of the earlier custom tracks made for Reflex, so I guess, like, the stuff was still being tested and people weren't entirely sure what they were doing. And that's a pay bill, but it's for an early track, so I like this a lot. Just, it's very me, everything's oversized by large factors. So I'm gonna start off with massive, massive tabletop, and I'm gonna be saying massive a lot in this video, so. It was just massive. It's like a regular Supercross track or Nationals track, like, tw 10 or 12 times. Ooh, hold on, I go. There's a thing right here. I put a flag down there, right? Yeah, it's close enough. This thing right here is not part of the track, but it is a thing where there are... Let's, let's count these out. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven semi-trucks to jump on a motorcycle. So we're gonna go ahead and jump these. We're gonna get the first person camera to do the rest of this video. Or just, ooh, we forgot. You can go through this stuff and you do hit the hay bales. We're gonna try and jump these all. Let's get the front wheel back down so we can keep accelerating and hopefully I can jump this. Let's do a little bit of a whip over it for style point. Oh! I just got decapitated. That must have been rather painful, but it's okay because I have orange skin still. So yeah, or I can also drive right through the semi trucks because fuck it. Fuck physics. Fuck reality. You have no power over me, reality. Anyways, uh, let's do this really quick. Let's. This is a more top speedy track, I'm just going to tune the vehicle slightly back that way. That's my bike setup, by the way, I like, that's what I like. I usually, I probably could do without the hard brakes, but I just feel like if you don't have hard brakes on, you're going to be stopping in longer times. So I don't like, if I feel, I feel, I just feel like if I turn the brakes off to normal, it's going to take, it'll take longer to stop if I just slam them, because I absolutely need to stop. So that's kind of like, it's kind of, like, my opinion of turning the brakes on to normal or soft is kind of like turning traction control on a car, where it just slows down the effect of what you're trying to do. Anyways, let's try and clear it this time. I'm not in third person right now, because I want to see how close I can make it. Oh, I'm gonna make it, make it. Ah, son of a bitch. I will give this one more attempt, because let's just tune this thing a little bit more towards top speed. This jump is kind of difficult to be able to clear the entire thing on a bike. It's a pretty long jump on a ramp, it's not really angled. To be 
made for jumping. Or like just a straight angled ramp. It's sort of, sort of like placed cockeyed. But here we go. Pop the clutch so that'll help us a little bit. Lean back for this to get the preload. And let's try and whip glitch across it. Yep, there we go. That's done it. There we go. Okay, now we can get back on with the custom track. Uh, it's gonna be a longer video because this track is like this track is like a four or five minute lapper. But here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, I'm gonna try and drive most of this in first person, but I'm gonna be going to third person occasionally. There's these big banking there, which there's one part of the track where you can get kind of lost with the bankings in terms of where you're intended to go. It can be a bit confusing in a couple places. So let's get over. Over, damn it! Let's go. At full speed. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, sometimes there I'll get, I'll go the wrong way there because I get lost. Oop, left. Yep. This track is very, very big. <laughs> it's so big. That's what she said. Anyway, yes. Jump! Come on, get over! Get over there! Yeah! There you go. You know how to do this. Alright, and let's hard on the right. And hopefully I can land this in a reasonable manner. Don't think I, nope. That, like, this is what I mean. This track is like. It's fun, it's definitely very fun to piss about with it, just that if you screw up a rhythm line somewhere, you'll have a really difficult time getting back in the landing, everything's smooth, and in a lot of places it's kind of difficult to tell how you're intended to do it. But yes, it's very much a top speed oriented track. Oh, there we go, that's good, that's, that was good, that was good. I should be able to clear this. Yeah, that was pretty good. Not perfect, but it was pretty damn good. Alright, I didn't get wreck avoided there, so that also I'm going to call that pretty good. And here we go. Let's see if we can triple. Take a left line here, and it should be able to clear that. No problem. Perfect. Yes, this is this is a very good run through here. I should take the high line this time. Which I think I think this is the exact same rhythm section, just repeating itself. And I cocked that up, which it's okay because this isn't really too big of a jump there. So you kind of do need to slow down. We're so gonna go far wide on the outside here to get as much speed as we possibly can. Just triple and hopefully double, maybe, okay. Like double, but we hit our back tire, so tire gap there. Anyway, trip, I think we're gonna like double to step on, not wheelie. And the face, nope, we're good, we're done, so we're good. Okay, now we're gonna just get the brakes on a little bit. This is an awkward part of the track right there. That's, that, that one part there is a really awkward part to get through. As always, the link to this track will be in the description. Kind of an old track. I remember playing on this a long time ago on my old laptop, but I could not find it. I remember trying to find this track for a long time, but I could never find it. But now I have found it, and it's still pretty damn fun to piss about with. This is like a big elevated tabletop section. It's another cool thing about this track is lots of elevation changes. It's not all flat. It's just this track. It's just so much fun to me, personally. A lot of people are gonna say, "Oh, it's a bad track. It's not done correctly. It's too stupid. It's oversized." But this is, this is how I would make a track. Just oversized fun. I love all the elevation changes in this. I just love this track. It's actually this track's up uh, kind of up there in my list of top of my top favorite tracks so. though. Cause I could just never I could just play this track and not infinitely and never get bored. It's like on the Southwick X track. It's one of those tracks where if I get bored, I I'll just I never get bored of this track. It's, just, it's so damn big. Ooh. Okay, we're not even close to finishing a lap yet. We're probably about halfway through, I think. And then there's this, just this. Yes, it's fast. You can go down along the side of it and not even touch the log pile. But what fun is that? If you don't go over the log pile, you're a fucking buzzkill. It's not a raceable track, so it doesn't really matter if you don't go over the log pile at the same time. It's just about having fun, and you're a buzzkill if you don't go over the big log pile. Which, I don't know how that guy... I've never seen anybody else make a track that has, like, logs piled up like anything in their track before. Other than this. this is like the only track I've seen that. This, this, this track's done a lot of things I haven't seen in other tracks. We're gonna head up into the third person for a little bit here, getting the getting the gameplay gamma. And let's try and get over this. Come on, triple! Ah, damn it! There we go. Let's get back into the first person. Actually, because I do like this first person gamma quite a bit. There's also I'm gonna put a flag down somewhere around here because something. Yeah, there. Look, look to the left. Do you see it? Oh my god, look. Yeah, do you see it right there? Do you see what that is? I think you see what that is. I should love to. You can just look to the left when you jump. <laughs> I'm put a flag down right around here-ish. Yeah, there's a flag, and let's just jump out of the track here so I can go play with this. So this this thing, I think you can tell what it is. Good idea, not so good. This, like, the idea and the thought process behind it was pretty good, but um, the execution, not so much, because 
This game does not, you, one, you cannot ride any vehicle upside down, doesn't like that. And I don't actually have a truck right now, so can I just go over here? Because I broke my save game a few, several times, and then thank God Jamie T gave me a save file. Or he posted a save file in response to one of my things on a forum page, which... The save file will be linked somewhere down there in the description too, probably, or at least the link to the forum page where he, Jamie posted it. We put Woody there, because he put in a little save file, it's got like 15 million credits. Ooh, I don't have my custom gear on anymore. Anyway, the safe house got like 15 million Oh yeah, because I'm playing as Pro Rider. But anyway, the safe house got 15 million credits on it. It's got all the basic bikes unlocked on it. So if you do break your game trying to do custom skins, you won't be totally fucked over trying to start again. But the custom skins, I you just have to be careful and use it in moderation, be responsible, and you'll be fine. No, what? Anyway, that loop, good idea, but it doesn't really work at all. I like I like the creativity, though. It points to you, track creator. If you're watching this, I probably should have written down your name somewhere, but I didn't! But points to you for trying to be original there, and points to you for making a track that it's just infinitely fun to me, because it's just, I just never get bored here, it's just so much fun. And that, you definitely want to go on the outside line for 98% of this track, or you will not be making the jumps. You also want to make sure you're tuned a little bit, at least even with top speed and acceleration, or maybe a little bit more towards top speed, because you need a lot of speed to be able to make over these jumps, because they're fucking enormous. And, ooh, this is, ah. Get, get on there. Alright, there. Got like some whoops going on. And we put a flag right there too so I can try these two lines. But I'll try and do like two laps on this track just because it's so massive. But like, yes, the lower line here is probably a lot faster, but it's not as fun. Like, that was. Okay, you know how long that took. And let's try this line. Let's try going low. Yeah, it's a lot faster. Okay, yep. I'm back. Uh. Had some minor, minorly major issues with the recordings of the softwares, and it kind of crashed on me and threw me out of the game. So, yeah, I'll try and maybe do another lap, but I don't know if I'm going to finish another lap because I've been fighting this issues I've been having with this software recently for quite a long time now. <laughs> so, I'll try and do like another half a lap and. Yeah, if I don't say goodbye or just to get abruptly cut off, I apologize for that, but that may or may not happen, depending on if the footage gets saved or not. In fact, I don't even know if this part's going to record correctly, but hopefully it does. I think we were doing third-person maps now after all the first-person stuff, so we could get, like, some visuals of all of the thing majiggies that... majiggy things. But, uh, like, first-person, we're going to do first-person. Let's do, like... Ooh, come on. Yeah! Tricks. Ouch. Still have that orange skin thing going on though. I think I saw that one in Dio's video too. Is I got the orange skin, like the default thing written across the neck. Don't know what causes that. Doesn't really bother me all that much because it's not really horribly noticeable and it's not something that I'm going to like try and reset my game file because of. I'll just put up that the game's working fine, so I'm just going to kind of ignore that and pretend I don't have the, tan the skin of a spray tan Florida bitch. <laughs> Anyways, yes, we're gonna focus on this. Oh, oh, in case that really hurt me. Oh, that was very close. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Ah, that was cased quite a bit. Not quite a bit, just a little bit. Cannot really whip into the first person all that well yet. I seem to have issues. Oh, nope, there you go. That reline got the bike reline pretty well there. Because once you really get in the air, though, you kind of lose the sight of your front fender. So it's kind of hard to tell where the bike's pointing again. But, ah, come on, don't get that. There we go. Actually, I think the handlebars are using those handlebars that nobody ever uses. Like the, not tag, what is it? It's like the first one. I forgot what it's called, but nobody ever uses them. The fast, F A A S T, is that it? I might get nobody. I've never seen anybody use it, but it's like the only handlebars I can get in green. So I went with them. Didn't match the Kawasaki green. Last year, you green. Yep, there. Oop. Thunk. 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 Cleared it. That was actually kind of smooth that time. Hmm. That was interesting. I'll have to remember that for the next lap. Which I'm not doing another lap on camera, though, because I'm sad we don't have that much time left. Because this video's taking a ton of time to make, actually. Like a simple 20 minute video takes a few hours of work to put together. And hard on the right. Don't get in the dock, goddammit. Sit 
but make sure I don't aim. This is the thing, though, if you get out of rhythm in this track, it's so hard to find a line to get back in. Like, it's, you, you'll struggle a lot. There's just so many deep things that you'll crash on. The other thing I might do, since I'm aware that a lot of people who watch these or see these don't actually have PCs to play custom tracks, I might start doing a series or just a few videos or maybe just one video of some little things you can do in um, the normal free ride locations that the game comes with, like the Icarus Mountain, the Arizona, and the New York one. Just, just some like little places you can get to or things you can do that, are, that can be kind of fun that most people probably don't know about or don't do. Like in the Arizona one, there's there's some little there's a few ways you can climb on top of most of the mountains there, and like rock climb on. But you have to like use a trophy truck to get up to get start getting up to part of it. But you can like rock climb to the top of the mountain and then start riding around on top of the mountain, like like driving along cliffs. And it's kind of interesting. I was doing that, doing that the other day just to just to see if it was any good and maybe possibly worth making a video about some of like the quote unquote secrets. Not really secret, but hard to get to spots there. That, most people probably don't know about. So yeah, that look out for that because that might be coming. It also could, can be kind of challenging, or it could be a challenge for you to try and like jump off one of the mountains and land on a motorcycle. Anyways, this video, right? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna close a little lap here. Most people are probably gone by now. I'm not gonna be talking all that much more about the track. I'm just gonna be riding it out for another lap. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. And get sideways up in here. Ooh, make it. Ah. Keys it just, just enough to the point where it slows you down. Okay, there we go. I managed to whip myself over the side south of the road. Let's see if we can get to the. Nope. Oh, like, okay, let's see if we can get to the higher run, but I forgot doing that kind of knocks you off the bike. And that's the. That's a failure. That's a miser that is a miserable failure. Oh god, I just lost so much time doing this. So much time has been lost on the lap, it's not being timed. Oh, there's the flickering walls again, come past those. There's the loop that does not work that I believe I've already mentioned. I'm gonna take the high lane here, because I'm gonna try and do this a little bit. I'm gonna try not to jump too much up here, so I wanna see if I can put a flag right here. I want to see if I can like jump off of this. Just, I wonder if I can find a way to like jump off this and somehow make. Yeah, let's do this back actually before I forget about that. Let's try to get back to more acceleration. So what I'm trying to do here is I want to see if it's possible to jump off of this and it's like kind of. Nah, it's not. I was going to try and like jump all the way down to the dirt, but that's not happening. So. Yeah. That's not going to. Not going to work for me. But we just cut through here and make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Ah. And not having that extra top speed is going to be some sear. Ooh. Front flip for style. Alright. Let's get you back onto the track. Look how hard can it be to get back on the track here? Either. It would be another kind of thing with a track this big as I can't. I can imagine that it wouldn't be like normal multiplayer. It's like you had a full lobby of people. You wouldn't have the constant bar banging being not taken out every single turn and then you just lose because somebody takes you out every turn. There's plenty of room for everybody here. Um, I wonder how many times I actually said come on in these videos. <sighs> actually, I think I might just end it. Ooh, oh. <laughs> that was so bad. Come on. Oh, he just said come on again. Get up, get up. There we go. Get, get, get. Get, get. No, get on the track. There. There we go. Alright, alright. I believe this is going to be the big dip tabletops, which means I am getting close to the finish line. Alright, that's like the step on, step off jump right there. I should be coming up to the finish line after a couple of. Yep, there it is. Ooh, that's, that's that one thing I was talking about where it's kind of weird, but it works. Alright, that's gonna be it for this video. Oh, see, like, that's that thing where it says default. That's what's on my guy's neck. Where's that? Yeah, there it goes. You see the default? It means there's no texture. But yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I'm the white guy. Subscribe, comment, like, favorite, share, all things. This is awkward now, because you have just run out of things to say. Now this is awkward, so I'm just gonna.
Just gonna, that's the same thing. Ooh, it's cut out now, but I wanna go try and hit this jump one more time. I wanna land this jump in first person. Alright, here we go. Let's do one more jump for the video ends. People probably clicked away because I thought the video was going to end, but guess what? It didn't, because we're gonna hit this thing. I wanna, like, backflip this or something. Go to speed. And let's turn. Grab the flag, and let's go. Pull back a little bit, all the way back. And let's, let's try and jump this. Uh, more top speed and more sticky. And lean back a little bit, not too much, so you don't want to wheelie, but just enough to the point where you get more traction. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Dun dun dun, splat. Come on. I, I can make this jump, I've made it before. Like, let's see if I whip across it. I yeah, see now I can land it no problem if I whip across it. It's an interesting theory though, is the whip actually does send you flying a lot farther, doesn't it? If I, do, if I just jump it straight on. Yeah, I guess I can make it straight in here. Just, ah, come on, make it. I want to make this. I want to make it clean jump, no whip. Just, just, just a clean jump. There we go. Alright. Now goodbye, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.